Living on land is easy. I've been doing it for years. But some animals are brave enough to live underground. We're gonna learn more about them right now. Most of the time when I think about underground life, I picture a tiny little insect making its way through the soil with a little hat and a little briefcase, even though that's not realistic. But what if I told you that adorable bugs aren't the only creatures living underground? Hi, I'm Esther. I think nature is awesome, and I want to tell you all about it. So we're going to learn about my three favorite animals that live underground on today's Nature Side Quest. Number one, moles. Since it's dark below ground, instead of relying on their eyesight, they navigate through the soil by touch using their incredibly sensitive snouts. The snout of the star-nosed mole is surrounded by 22 tentacles that make it six times more sensitive than the human hand. This snout is so powerful that it can identify food in less than eight milliseconds. These little guys aren't just great at finding food either. They're also great at tunneling through the soil. The eastern mole can tunnel through soil as quickly as 15 feet per hour. But even with all of that activity, you might go your entire life without ever actually seeing a mole in person. Next up is a legendary creature that poses a fascinating question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could in fact chuck wood? Woodchucks, aka groundhogs, aka whistle pigs, are closely related to squirrels. These herbivores love to eat and can put away over a pound of greens in one sitting. Their incessant gnawing helps them keep their front teeth from getting too long because they never, ever stop growing. I can't imagine what it would be like if my front teeth never stopped growing. Try not to think about it for too long. Seriously, just stop thinking about it. And finally, burrowing owls. That's right, owls that live underground. Burrowing owls are the only bird of prey that are known to nest entirely underground. And when they hunt, they seem to prefer to catch their prey by walking or running along the ground. Can you imagine a tiny bird running toward you like this, with these legs and these eyes? While some of these owls do actually dig out their own homes, most of the time, they take advantage of the vast network of underground burrows, tunnels, and nests created by other animals. But sometimes, the owls are the ones getting kicked out. Burrowing owls rely on flat open land, which is also the same type of land that real estate developers like to build on. As a result, burrowing owls are threatened or endangered in many of the states they call home. That's why it's important to know what's going on beneath our feet. What we do above ground has an impact on the animals living below. And we want to make sure that all these cool creatures still have a place to call home. That's all for now. I'll see you on our next Nature Side Quest. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.